What? Oh my god! Whoa! That's crazy! Alright, dude, we need to go. Oh my god, bro, no way. No. Oh, bro, we gotta go. Run, get the run. Get the run! Friends, this is about one week after Typhoon Odette making landfall in the island of Shargao. As you can see behind me, the extensive amount of damage. In this series, you're gonna see how much I and many other people on this island underestimated the power of this typhoon. It has absolutely ravaged different parts of the Visayas in the Philippines, and my island home of Shargao has been hit really, really, really hard. In this series, there will be links in the description and a call to action in the pinned comments. Please, everything that you can do to raise awareness about the situation in Shargao and donate money to the cause of helping rebuild this island is going to be absolutely appreciated. I'm doing everything in my power on the ground here to raise awareness about the situation in Shargao. It's very difficult without internet, there's no electricity, we're running low on food, water, gas. Please consider helping out if you're watching this video or this series and I will link everything down below in the description. Without any further ado, here are the effects of Typhoon Odette. Good morning, everyone, from Super Typhoon Odette. So it is currently 6 a.m. We got reclassified last night as a Super Typhoon Category 5. We got put on Signal 3 instead of Signal 2. We lost cell service last night, and we also lost power. Uh, and I'll show you what it's looking like outside. Definitely not as bad as I imagined, but we still have a good few hours before we're in the eye. And it's really formed up the storm, you know, from last time we had internet, we we're able to look at it. The storm has properly formed an eye now. So we're gonna head down to the beach real quick here in Arca. It's definitely not as flooded as I thought it was gonna be. I can definitely feel it here a little bit more. Look at that. Wow, this is really... That being said, the good thing for us is the tide is coming down now. So I don't think we really need to worry about the surge at the moment. We, we will have to worry about it later in the afternoon today. Take you guys out to the main street, we'll see the damage. Not that bad, overall. I'm kind of surprised, I was expecting a little more. I really hope that I can say this still at uh, 2 p.m. today, that it wasn't that bad. Because, uh, I mean, we're just getting hit by the really the side of the storm right now. The eye will pass over us uh, pretty shortly here. Should, it should start getting significantly more hairy. And our goal is, if it gets too bad, and we start flooding too much, we'll be moving all of us to there. Building a really big hostel there. It's all concrete, it's not finished, but it'll be a good evacuation center. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, there's the surge. Wow, I've never seen the ocean like this here. Oh my God, oh, that's crazy. Holy shit, oh my God. Holy, I've never seen this like this. This is insane. You can see the waves breaking here. They've never broken back there. Never ever seen the ocean like this here. That is banana. Wow. So Tuason is known in Shargao as one of the places that has the gnarliest waves on the island. Oh my god, I can see it from far away, it looks crazy. Actually, this is very dangerous where I am. I'm gonna try to get out from under these coconut trees. Wow, I have never ever seen it like this here. This is bananas. Very eerie, very eerie scenes of Shargao here in Tuason Beach. 
Well, I'm not happy to say it, but I have not seen Cloud9 this quiet and peaceful since the early days of the pandemic. It's crazy. There's no one here at all. I mean, it's not crazy. There's a freaking typhoon going on. Why would anybody be here right now? Cloud9, baby. That's bananas. You need help, Koya? Hold. Opa. Marajao. Kera? Kera. Why is that Koya? So, yeah. The plywood reinforcements here are flying off. I've gotten my two boys, Jacer and Phyllis. What's up? What's up? So we've come to the bridge now, the famous Sunset Bridge. The wind shears are picking up. We're maybe an hour or two away now from the eye of the storm. So check this out. Wow. Talaga? Oh. No. Yesterday I was there. So good for surfing now. <laughs> See you, bro. Where are you going? Back to Alka. Philip <laughs> <laughs> was just on the bridge telling us how there's probably someone on this island that's surfing, and lo and behold, our good friend Losta comes up and is like, "Yeah, I'm gonna go surf in uh, in Dapa on the other side of the island." Let's join him. Very, very casual. Preemptively evacuating. Still really, I know I keep saying this, still doesn't really feel that bad. But we are uh, transferring our water over to the happiness hostel. So this is a very, very, very safe location for us to spend our, uh, you know, storm surge time. Plenty of drainage here, well enough above the sea line. Or we'll be fine. So we're gonna start transporting everything here and I'll catch up with you guys once we're settled in there. So we're in the goodies kitchen right now. I'll explain the situation. We're evacuating across the street with 43 other people that for some reason we are cooking food for. <laughs> so that's our duty now. So I started pulling things out of my freezer like these chicken hearts and chicken liver and salmon belly preparing meals. It is raging outside, absolutely raging. Uh, the storm is upon us officially now. We're just finishing up the last few dishes and then we're gonna head over and feed the people. Uh, Philip and Jess are already started bringing the dishes out. We made a slow cooked chicken, a pumpkin stew, and hopefully we'll have enough uh, food to feed a bunch of mounts. What a mess. Ay, ay, ay. Yala. I've never cooked under conditions like this before. Oh my God, the storm has hit. Woo. Oh my god, there's so many trees on the ground. Oh my god. What?
Holy shit. This is insane. Oh my god, all the trees are gone. Whoa! That's crazy. Oh my god. I just wanted to get some pants. Alright, dude, we need to go. Oh my god, bro. No way. No. Oh, bro, we gotta go. Run, Jesse, run. Jesse, run! Run, bro, run! Shark is coming, run! Hey, Kuya! Go up now, quick! The shark is coming! What? Everyone is down upstairs now! What? Yeah! Okay, I owe you guys an update on the situation. Wow. I don't know if it's just... Ah, it's bad. That is crazy. That is not a good situation. That, uh, that scene that you saw there with the storm surge, that was completely legitimate. I went back to my room to get underwear before running back here to evacuate, and it surged over the wall. It was one of the scariest things I've ever seen in my life. Just a burst of water flipping over. Um, we're observing the crazy scenes from above here in the Happiness Hostel. A bunch of us are taking refuge. We've eaten, we've drank, we're relaxing, but it is crazy out here. It is absolutely crazy. We have no cell service, we have no power. Uh, all we can do now is wait. The Nipah on most of the roofs is bare. Trees are falling down, it's it's so chaotic. Uh, this is a point in the video where I could say we were wrong. We were so, so, so wrong. This is a really, really, really bad storm. We're flooded. We're over capacity with a bunch of people who need help and this need to be here. This is so bad. Where you're staying? Yeah. Not anymore. No, not anymore. <laughs> Fuck. Oh my god, the roof caved in. All our luggages are there. No. My gadgets are there. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. It's shocking. I've never ever seen anything like this in my life. I don't want to think about just me, 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 but I just started building a house here a month ago. I'm so afraid that everything I invested, all my workers, my contractor, the chickens, I'm 
so scared that I come tomorrow to see that it's all gone. Cherry on top. My tuk-tuk is holding up like a freaking champion. My tuk-tuk is holding up like four power lines right now. <laughs> it's just hanging out right over there. First steps outside. What the fuck? Where are you guys going? High ground! High ground! High ground. High ground. High ground. Search coming. Yeah. Whoa. This is crazy. Wow. This is nuts. This is absolutely crazy. Everything's destroyed. I'm in shock. You're alive. <laughs> Which way? Oh my God! You guys are alive. <laughs> oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> Holy shit! Holy shit. Oh, what the hell happened in Arca? Oh my god. This is absolutely unbelievable. It's unrecognizable from the place we were living at. Oh my god. It's all gone. It's all gone. I can't believe this. I don't think we should go any more forward. Yeah. This is completely unrecognizable to where we were living before. I'm shocked. The tuk tuk was untouched. I was under the impression that all of this was sitting on the tuk-tuk. The tuk-tuk was completely untouched. I'm flabbergasted. I don't know what to say. This is insane. There's not a... I mean, there's a lot of dirt, but nothing happened to it. Literally nothing happened to it. What the fuck? That's so crazy. I just wanted you guys to see this. This is appalling. It's unbelievable. walking through a shell of what Chargao used to be. This looks like a, like a ghost town, a deserted ghost town. Look at this, oh no. I don't know how we come back from this. It's unbelievable. All the power lines are down. I mean, we're not gonna have power for weeks, maybe months, maybe. To say the least, this is a catastrophic event. This has gotta be one of the worst things that's ever happened on this island, ever. Unbelievable. Look at that. <laughs> How does it feel your whole restaurant? The roof is caved in. <laughs> this is fucking crazy. I cannot believe this. The glass, everything's everywhere. The roof's falling down. So to explain the situation, we are now refugees. <laughs> Look at my little refugee you friends. Have, uh, space to take one bottle of water already with the worst of the storm is yeah. apparently yeah. over. Yeah. We're heading back to yeah. what's left of it. And uh we're gonna live out the rest of our days in this post-natural disaster world. I have a zero, I have zero idea as to what we do next. We're gonna go to sleep tonight in a house, all of us together. With the, the only house that survived this. And then from the perspective of like work and business and everything is broken, everything is destroyed. There's no internet, there's no cell service, there's no power. We're doing this in absolute darkness now. There's no more street lights. There's no more power left. I'm just in shock. I'm in shock of everything that I'm seeing. This is bananas. The destruction and the chaos of this is crazy. I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Hopefully trying to put together some pieces of this mess and a life-changing event, which you don't expect to have when you wake up on a Thursday morning. And then uh, hopefully start helping rebuild. This is us picking up the pieces. We've put together all the food that we cooked earlier today. 
We found uh, Sal's old cottage, the owner of Arca. And it's the only one that's kind of intact still. And I say kind of with a very kind of, you can see there's not much left. There's a giant tree outside. The kitchen is ransacked. Interesting times. And that, my friends, is the end of uh, Typhoon of Debt. One of the scariest experiences of my life. Actually, life changing. Tomorrow, we uh, begin from scratch, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what happens tomorrow. We'll see you guys in the next one. I love you a long time. Goodbye, class.